be still and know that I am God. You hear that phrase a lot. Be still and know that I'm God. Um, let's put it in the context tonight. I want to take a little walk with you because this be still, this, that message just hasn't left me alone for at least the last week. And I just needed to share it with somebody and why not share it with you guys? Um, I, I want to hear what your, your thoughts are. You can go ahead and comment below um, or catch us on Thursday nights when we go live. But be still and know that I am God. Where is that from, Tom? Well, I'll tell you. Psalm 46. I'll read it. So when I look down, that's I'm, I'm reading. I wish I could have had this memorized, but it's not done there yet. God is our refuge and strength and ever-present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam and the mountains quake with their surging. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is within her. She will not fall. God will help her at break of day. Nations are in uproar. Kingdoms fall. He lifts his voice. The earth, the earth melts. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Come and see what the Lord has done. The desolations he has brought on the earth. He makes wars cease to the ends of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the shields with fire. He says, be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. There's a lot in this little chapter. Ten verses, eleven verses in Psalm 46. But that, be still and know that I am God. Everything else in this chapter is really chaotic. It's talking of war, of storms, of discourse. But at the end, he says, be still and know. You know, you can think you know something, and then you can know it. You know that you have to breathe to live. That is an absolute. That's something that you absolutely, without a question, without having to look it up on Google, you know that you have to breathe. You absolutely know that you love your kids. You don't have to think about it. You know that you know it. You might think you know the answer to the, the question. You might think that you know the right answer, the right actions to, to take in things. That's thinking you know. And then you, there's, there's knowing, the absolute. I feel this is a, a great passage for especially what the world is going through right now. The be still. We all want to be moving and trying to do something to help things. Um, whether it is protesting with words, protesting with actions, um, going out to, to, to try to help rebuild things. And those are all um, great things to do. If if done from the right place in your heart. But here it says to be still and know that I am God. If you know that he is God and that he controls the world, he has a plan for everything. Am I saying that he makes things happen? That's a talk for a different time. I don't, don't really think so. He can, but does he? That's another time talk. But to be still and trust, be still and know for sure that God has this. He's got this, he's already got this in the palm of his hand. We're just going through the motions and we are just walking by faith, trusting in him that his path is greater than ours. And all we have to do is be still. When days get too hectic for your mind, when Life sometimes feels too great to bear when the stresses of our everyday world is always knocking at the forefront of your thoughts. 
God says for us to be still. And so for the next 30 seconds, let's, let's just do that. Let's just be still. You can pray. You can just close your eyes and zone out. But let's just practice being still for just a few moments. Breathing. <sighs> Doing that breathing thing that I, I spoke of earlier that we know we have to do. So we're just going to close our eyes and we're just going to breathe. Now I hope that you weren't driving while we did this because I don't want that on my conscience and my heart. <clears throat> But on the flip side, I hope that you went through this little exercise with me. That you will take the time to read back through Psalm chapter 46. Take the time, whether it be just a few seconds or even an hour, just to be still. Sh shut the cameras off. Take the earbuds out. Shut the television off. And just be still with your maker. Be there one-on-one -on -one with your heart open to whatever he has to, to tell you to help you reinforce that he is God and that he has this. All we have to do is follow the rule book he has set in front of us. Be still and know that I am God. This is Tom, and I'm from Biblical Chili. And I'm just hoping this little tool helps you walk the talk. We'll see you again next time. Thanks for watching.